So there's a new study coming out of Massachusetts that suggests there is no difference in safety between six feet and, and three feet. But what we know about the six foot distance is that it was designed to create safe limits to how many people can congregate inside of a confined space and a closed space. That's the classroom and the school buildings. Um, when you decrease the distancing, naturally you're going to increase the number of people in those confined spaces. Therefore, you will increase the risk and students, educators, and families will take that risk out of the buildings and bring it home to their communities. What we learned early on was that COVID is an airborne disease. It travels in micro aerosolized um, uh, particles and school ventilation systems have not prior to the pandemic and, and during the pandemic have not been able to uh, clean the air to keep it infectious free. Uh, the unions have been working for an entire year to make sure that we implement stringent guidelines of the CDC, like fixing the ventilation, maintaining distancing, masking. Um, it's a combination of all of those strategies that make schools safe. All of these studies that have been done generally have been done uh, before we fully understand the new variants that are coming to Massachusetts and any state from many different parts of the world. No matter what school in what state uh, we're, we are educating our children of the United States, the, the mitigation strategies are all the same. We need rigid implementation of ventilation systems to control infection. We need all school employees to be vaccinated. We need systemic weekly COVID testing to assess the risks. We need masking. I think it's very important to kids to, to be closer. And uh, as soon as there are no risks, no potential risk, and uh, um, as soon as uh, the school and the, the system will provide their conditions, uh, like safe conditions for kids. I think uh, we should uh, trust and uh, follow the, the results of the research.